Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we will see how to host multiple websites on a single IP address using Apache Web Server. So let's get started. First of all, you need to install Apache Server app, install Apache 2. Okay, I have already installed it and also you need to start your Apache Server and service space Apache 2 space start okay there was no errors and you can just go to 127.0.01 it works this is the default website of apache 2 if this comes up your apache 2 installation has been successful and your server is up and running now you need to configure your website for that just move to um, root slash etc slash apache 2 okay over there just list down you can see sites available a directory named sites available and just uh, go to that directory sites available and just list down you can see triple zero config default dot config file this is responsible for the configuration of the default website of apache server so now you can add the configuration files for your websites. For this tutorial, I'll be adding two different websites. One is web1.com and web2.com. I'll be adding the configuration file for both of them. So let me use nano nano web1.com.config. Okay, over there you can use virtual host virtual host tag first attribute is star colon 80 this means any IP address that communicates or requests to the server through port 80 okay the server name name is web 1.com and server alias www.web one.com and document root document root contains all the files which are necessary for this website for example the index.html and whatever files for this website will be present within this directory slash www slash web one okay let it be there and now I need to close this virtual URL virtual host tag okay that tag is closed okay i missed an i o r virtual host okay and server name server document root everything is complete so control x yes yes now i'll be making a copy of this um, for that i will use cp w web 1 space web I'll copy as a web2 that is for my website second website so now just list it and use nano space web2 and I'll just edit this to web2 and I'll just make this web2 and this directory to web2 okay and just exit it that's it now I'll move to slash where slash www. Okay, over there I will create two directories mkdar. One is for web1, that is web1, and mkdar, that one is for web2. Web2, and I'll just move to the web1 directory, and over there I will create an index.html. Index.html html okay i'll be just simply creating one simple html head and website website one Okay, just I'll give just the title and I'll just write something in the body with h1 tag web1.
and I'll just close the body and the HTML tag escape uh, controls X I'll save it that's it and now I'll just move back and I will move to the directory web web 2 and over there I will use I will create an another index page for the second website okay website 2 head and body and heads 1 website 2 we'll just end the tags b o d y and slash html okay okay that's it i have created all the index files for the both of the websites and i now i need to um, enable these two website and disable the default website for that a to disable site dis stands for disabling 000 default dot config i need to disable this now i need to enable my website so a2 en site enable that is web one dot com dot config now i need to restart the apache server for that service apache to restart okay there was no errors now i need to enable my second website uh, for that a2 en site web2.com.config okay now i will again restart the server there was no errors clear now i'll just go over here and okay now what i will do is i will just move to slash etc etc direct root slash etc and over there i have a file called host so nano host and in that i will just configure web1 web2.com and www.web1.com for both of these websites just point to this IP address itself ok control x and y and m and now let me just type in www.web1.com it loads my first website you can see website 1 and web2.com ok sorry web2.com the website 2 Okay, that's it and uh, if you are providing the default IP address it will be loading the default page of the Apache server so otherwise if you are specifying the name of the website you can see it re redirects you to the website too and uh, if you specify to web1.com then it redirects you to the website 1 okay and uh, now you will be thinking how is it possible and how is the Apache doing this. This is the part of HTTP protocol 1.1. Okay, it will be something like this. So now I'm going to explain you how this multiple website hosting on a single IP address works. Okay, now you can see this is the part of HTTP protocol 1.1, and this is the text that I prepared. For this session okay now whenever you type in this address into your browser your browser tries to resolve this name okay and suppose it obtained this IP address okay this is the address for the server so we have specified it in the host file so it will be automatically picking up the IP address so in this case we gave our local host IP address and that is a loopback IP address so no problem it will be getting the IP address from somewhere if you have hosted it it will be resolving from the DNS server through default gateway or something as we have if you are specified it if you have specified it in your host 
file okay it will be obtaining the IP address from there so whenever you type it type this the browser doesn't know the IP address so it resolves the IP address first so it obtained the IP address now it sends the request for this website to the server in the form of a packet and the packet contains the host name that is the name name of the website that is requested okay now the Apache server would be receiving this packet and Apache server would be checking out all the list of the website that is that is hosted in the server so uh, first of all it will be going to the configuration file of the first website over there you can find it found that okay this is the website that the client requested for so the pages for this website is present in this specific location and Apache server will be serving the browser with the requested websites page okay this is done with the help of the configuration file of web1 that we did okay now whenever the user requests for the web2 okay web2 the browser first of all resolves the IP address okay as it is hosted in the same server it obtained the same IP address itself but you can see this time when the packet is sent it is sent with some other host name that is web2 and the Apache server receives the packet and resolves uh, reads the host name that means the Apache server understands the browser requests Apache server understands the browser requ requires the web2 okay and now it would be going through all the configuration files and the enabled website okay now it found okay web2 over here it found web2 and it will be serving the index file from this specific part that is specified in the configuration file for the website 2 this is how the multiple website hosting works within a single IP address so hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe thank you